Hello everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. Before I begin, I actually want to say really quick, I've been thinking about doing a kind of, I guess like a Q&A kind of a thing where you guys leave me questions or whatever in the comments or email me and then I answer them. I feel like you guys literally don't know anything about me at all personally because like I said, I do try to keep this channel Christ-centered. However, if you have any dying questions or whatever, totally feel free to leave them in the comments or email me. It'd be anything from hey, what's your opinion or advice on this to, I don't know, what's your favorite animal? Although that might be crossing the line a little bit. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> yeah, if you have any dying questions, totally just leave them in the comments or email me and I will do my best to answer them in the next video. But the actual point of today's video is more so about spiritual warfare and kind of some encouragement for that. Last night I was um, texting a brother in Christ and I was saying, I feel like trash. I said it a lot more descriptive than that, but this is like the Spark Notes version. And he essentially was like, yeah, no, I totally feel the same way. Um, not necessarily the exact same way, but like I know people who are also struggling with that, etc. cetera. And um, it was actually very encouraging. And it kind of got me thinking of how that's kind of some encouragement in and of itself regarding spiritual warfare. The fact that there are more people than you think with the same struggle as you. In 1 Corinthians 10, um, it says that no temptation had overtaken us that is not common to man or something along those lines. Again, I'm so sorry when I like botch verses. I try to do my best to remember them from memory, but then I like usually end up messing them because I don't know them verbatim, but yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is there's a lot more people experiencing what you're experiencing than you think. Another one of my friends, I remember I was talking to her about like, you know, spiritual warfare as well. And she's, it was either my friend or it was something I saw online or on YouTube or something. I saw this somewhere, but it was someone saying that when the enemy attacks, he doesn't seem to directly attack God, rather he attacks what God loves. So in um, the Garden of Eden, he went after Adam and Eve rather than directly to God. You know, so many times in scripture when there's an attack, it's usually on someone whom God loves. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you are being like spiritually attacked, which again, it sounds like there's a lot of people going through that right now, some encouragement, I guess, would be to understand that it means that you're loved by God and that the reason why you're probably being attacked so much is because God loves you. And so therefore by being attacked, it's hurting God. I'm sorry if that was a little bit out there and like weird, but I remember my friend had told me that or someone, again, I heard it somewhere, whether it was from my friend or from some other source, but it really seemed to make a lot of sense to me. And I was like, wow, I never thought about it that way. But yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Similarly enough, I one time saw on Renee Rowland's channel, she was saying something about um, if you have a constant fear and it's just a constant nagging in the brain, that that actually means that whatever it is that you're worrying about most likely won't happen because if the enemy attacks, there's no warning. It just kind of happens. He's just gonna do it, you know? He's not just gonna keep on like threatening it and threatening it if he already had the power to do so. So I hope this could be of help to some people. I'm sorry it was kind of like, all over the place and stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to give some encouragement because I'm going to be honest, I have also been really, really struggling with spiritual warfare over the past few days. And I know I'm definitely not alone in that because like I said, just from last night talking to another brother, he was like, nope, nope, there are more of us. And I, like, I've been hearing that from a lot of people. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you ever have any comments, questions, or concerns, do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below or shoot me an email. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.